Are you the one that left the note? Who are you? The chump had an attitude and a smell to match. They didn't call him Smoking Jojo because he was cute. His circuit boards were on the fry, literally. He was half burnt out, overheating and underperforming. He didn't like the dame, but he knew me. We went way back, but Jojo's lips were normally sealed tighter than my name is Rania. I picked him up in the hollows and he says he's looking for a girl called Pashta. Why did you leave the note? As Huxley knows, I normally don't say nothing to nobody. <clears throat> but as you can see, I ain't got long left. You could fry an egg on my processor. Can't you get help? Repairs? <coughs> nah. They don't make the parts for an old model like me no more. <laughs> and I ain't got no limbs anyway. Point is, if I want to do some good, I better do it now while I can. Huxley, I know something about this girl you're looking for. I wanted to hear what the old bucket had to say, but how did he know I was looking for pasta? You've been asking around town. Word gets out. I was playing a private gig real good, and I'm still the best horn player in town. Even if I don't look too good these days, what, with all the rust and all. While I was there, <clears throat> I overheard some things. This ex-corp goon called Raguan was there, talking about how he got screwed over. <clears throat> and? Look, I don't like squidding like this. Give me a minute. Jojo was singing like a songbird, but would we dance to his beat? Huxley, please be quiet for a minute, okay? I can't believe I'm getting sucked into this. So what does this Raguan guy have to do with Pashta? Well, this Raguan guy's drunk, and he's throwing his weight around. <coughs> Near enough getting into a fight with some waiter who's just trying to serve the champagne. In the middle of mouthing off, Raguan says he's dangerous and he can make people disappear. He says he's not to be messed with because the last guy that messed with him lost his kids. 
Then he starts crying. That's strange, but it doesn't link him to Pashta in any way. But he says the name. I was the only one that heard him, but he takes a drink. And through his tears, he keeps saying, sorry, Pasta, sorry. <coughs> now, ain't that a thing? That's a lead, at least. The trail had gone cold for a while, but with JoJo's help, we would picked it up again. Come on, I can try to find where this Raguan lives. I'll ask Camus back in the Hava. After that, though, you're on your own, Huxley. He is still here? Why is he still here? We are just taking him to one more place. Why? The dog still didn't trust me. I guess it could smell desperation, and I reeked of it. Camus, we need to find out the address for an ex-CEO called Raguan. Can you find that somehow? I could. Well, are you going to? Yes, I will do it. Searching. Searching. There was a news story in the Marrow Gazette Holovids three months ago about a CEO called Ragwan. What did it say? Midtown's youngest CEO fired for bribing CorpSec without the proper clearance from board of directors. That doesn't help us find him. Sounds like the papers got some info on the crooked CEO. Did the papes get some snaps, though? Did the... you mean photos? Camus, was there a picture of Raguan in the Holovids? Yes. He looked... sad. I'll bet. But was there anything in the background? Searching. There is a building in the photo. Cross-reference with the latest city planning database. I have a match. It is the new apartments in Upper Midtown. I have an address. That sounds like where a CEO would stay. Let's assume the Holovids caught Raguan leaving his apartment. Camus, give us an F point. It get you busy? No, not at all. Completely free. Good. I, uh, I don't have a job for you. I was just wondering if... You know what, Control? Can I get back to you? I'm just picking up another coffee. All right, kid. Uh, all right. Um, I have a job soon, though. No rush, Control. Chat soon. I started to feel like I was holding the dame back. I didn't want to get her in trouble. It's fine. Let's just see what we can find at Raguan's apartment.
this was the place for sure. I was on my way. Wait, do you want me to... I couldn't ask the dame to do any more. She was a class act. A dime store performer in a city of nickels. A diamond in a waste bucket. Good luck, Huxley. I said goodbye to my new friends. The dame flashed me a smile brighter than the sun. Even the dog wished me good luck. No, I didn't. Camus, wish him luck. Good luck, I guess. Be careful, Huxley. I hope you save Pashta. The dame wished me luck. Luck? Luck was for gamblers and Girl Scouts. Yeah, see you later, folks. Will he be okay? I don't know, Camus. I have an additional question. Go ahead. What is a Girl Scout? What is a dime? What is a nickel? Should I search for them? No, it's time to move on, Camus. Hey kid, um, you free now? Finished your coffee? My sure thing, Control. You got another job for me? Come by Cloudpunk HQ and grab a package. It's, uh, it's for Anderson Financial in Anderson Tower. Labeled Mr. Anderson. Is it on Anderson Street in Anderson Town? Don't joke, kid. You don't know the half of it. Control out.
Anderson. That is a strange name. I think it's an old name. Maybe the package will be for an old man. We'll find out soon. Let's find this Anderson Tower. There are so many more people like me here than back at the Plateau. Here in Navalis, does that make you feel less alone, Camus? I don't know. A lot of the automata do not have good jobs. That wasn't so different back home either. The agriculture automata didn't even get breaks. They just worked in the fields 24 hours a day. Yes, but they would always tell me how lazy I was. Maybe that was just a way for them to feel good about what they had to do. They didn't have to work there. They could have worked at the mine. Not much of a choice though, right? I wouldn't want to do either of those jobs, would you? No, but the automata here in the city are different. I think they laugh at me. When did they laugh at you? All the time. When we refuel, when we park, when we have the windows cleaned. I have to interact with them, and I always say the wrong thing. I feel the same, Camus. We don't fit in here. Not yet. The way we speak, our attitudes. It's obvious that we're from a small town. They can just tell by how I walk around. On the streets, they're all looking straight ahead. But I'm always looking up at the towers and the clouds. They are very big. They are, Camus. But I'm not thinking about the buildings when I look up. I'm thinking about the people in them looking down on me. Well, that's what it feels like for me. The automata here look down on me, too. It's okay, Camus. At least we're alone together. 